Hello, my name is John Barnard. I'm a Senior Commissioning Engineer with McKinstry, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Pelican Wireless Site Manager. Here is a demonstration of an email address you'll get from Pelican with your username and temporary password. So if you click on that link there, it'll open up in the browser. You can go ahead and enter in your email address along with the temporary password. Once you do that, it'll ask you to enter a permanent password. And then just to verify it, you just click on Submit. You can click to remember in your browser if you want to. Oh, I think I must have entered it wrong there. And you can go through the quick tutorial if you want to, but um, so here is Helen Smith Elementary School. And if you click on climate control, you'll actually will see all four of the portable space temperatures that are currently being read by the thermostat. So for portable 52, 53, 54, and 55. And over here on the right, you can see what the cur current set points are being controlled to. And then if you just click on one of these anywhere in this whole um, gray rectangle, it actually will take you to the day's history. So here you can see the, the red horizontal line is the cooling, or sorry, the, the heating set point, which is 65, and the cooling set point of 74. And the vertical rows or red colored line is when there's a call for heating and the blue ones is when there's a call for cooling. So as you can see at 6.30 in the morning when the set point changed from 55 to 65, the unit went into heating and brought it up to temperature and then maintained it. And as it warmed up with students being in the classroom, it got all the way up to 74 degrees and then it modulated to maintain the 74 degree set point. And then once it shut off, the set point went back up to as you can see here, the set point's 95 and 55. That's why there was no call for heating or cooling. You can go ahead and click the previous button and go see what happened on the previous days. Here it just basically maintained 74 degrees all day long. Didn't have to do any heating. And you can go back and see as many days as you want. These are on the weekends. Once again, it's just maintaining in the cooling mode. And then you can go ahead and click back you can sample another one, see see what it's doing. If you had any is issues, it's real quick, an easy way to troubleshoot or just check. But the, primarily, you're just going to be looking here to for space temperatures if a teacher happens to call and complain about their space temperature in their portable unit. If you click back, you can go ahead and go to the schedule dashboard. You can go through the tour if you like. Uh, McKinstry set up. Um, shared calendars that are assigned to each one of the portables. And as you can see, every morning at 6.30, the set points are set for heating at 65 and cooling of 74. And then at 4.30 in the afternoon, it changes the set point, cooling set point to 95 and the heating set point to 55. That's the case Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, it just maintains these as well. And the system time, that's just the current time, as well as the sunrise, sunset time. If you have any additional questions, a real quick, easy way, you can go to pelicanswireless.com and you can go download their user guide and it gives you quite a bit of information on different aspects of the, the site manager here. Or you can also email me John at ccsd at mckinstry.com. And thank you very much for watching.